you often download data and you have additional attributes you don't want. So here's some census data and we can open the attribute table. I downloaded these from the internet and you can see that there's a ton of values here uh, for all these counties and each of the variables then has some information in it. Now I can go to the lab itself and take a look at the descriptions and it'll open the table and I can then read the descriptive information, the metadata that came with this, and decide which of these variables I want. In our case, we'll just say we want the total population, this DP0010001. So we want to isolate that variable and get rid of all the other variables. So how do you do that? Well, one way would be to, with the table open, pick one of these, right, and then delete it. So we won't go ahead and delete the field asks us if we want to delete that, but we have so many variables to do that one by another. You can see it got rid of that field would just be quite laborious. Luckily, there's a tool that allows us to do this, to delete columns en masse, and we have to find that tool. First thing first, though, we're going to isolate just the geography we want. So I can turn on this manual selection tool and draw a rectangle around the data, the polygons I want, and then do a right click on the data set and down below here, which you can't see because we've shown it before, export the features. And that export features, I need to give it a location. Now, I've already saved this in a test run in lower 48, so I'll just call this LWR48. Uh, and the dot shape indicates that I want to save it in a shape file. And then if I go ahead and run it, it saves these data and automatically loads them to my uh, my map here. So I'll go ahead and remove the old existing one and zoom to my data here. So you can see here that we have these lower 48 data plus Puerto Rico displayed. So now I want to delete all those items that I don't need. And there's an interesting tool here in the geoprocessing window, which I can always get by clicking on the analysis and then the tools that'll display this geoprocessing window. And there's this find tools uh, window here at the top, this little pane. If I don't know the name of an operation, but I want to find it, I can always search around. Now, it might not exist, but if I type delete here thinking, oh, I want to delete columns, I can look in here down to delete and I'll find that yeah, there's delete field, that one that works. So I can delete identical or delete map server cache. There's all sorts of things. Similarly, if it were the fields I wanted to delete, um, I could go ahead and type in field and you'll see down here delete field shows up there. If I were to type item or variable, it doesn't. Um, show it at the top, it'll show it down here at the bottom. So you can find tools about things you want to do that you don't know exist by using this search uh, bar here. So I'll go ahead and select that delete field and I have to specify the input table, it's the only one that shows here. And then I'll drop the fields. Now when I click on this little carrot here, it allows me to manually select the one. And the one I want to save is this one, so I wouldn't want to check this one because I'm going to check the ones I want to drop. So most of the DPs besides this DP001001 I'm going to delete. And I could go down here clicking each of them and say, yeah, I want to delete them. But there's a ton of them. And I'm kind of lazy. So what I'm going to do is do this toggle all checkboxes and then untoggle the ones that I want to keep. So I'm going to keep these non-DP ones just for fun. And then the one I want to save. So all of these are now lined up for deleting. I want to add them to the list of uh, items I want to delete. And then I'll go ahead and run this and it'll delete all those. Now this takes a long time. It shows it's running. I can look at the progress by clicking here on the carrot on the side and it shows how this is progressing. So here it's going along dropping these one by one, you know, the 37, 38, 39. And then I'll skip to the end when it's done and show the results. So now it shows this delete field completed successfully. I can go ahead and look at my data and in the attribute table see that, yeah, there's a much truncated version with only the variables that I want. 
So it's quite useful if you have lots of data to delete. You don't have to rely on this single column manual delete tool in the table display.